The penultimate race on day one is the National Hunt Chase. Uh, this, again, it's a listed amateur riders race. It's over four miles, so it's an absolute stayers trip. Now, the current favourite is five to two, and that is OK Corral. Now, OK Corral raced here with us here at Warwick and was very impressive. Derek O'Connor came over from Ireland just to come and ride OK Corral and with the plan in mind for this race and made it look very, very easy. Uh, that was the uh, impressive winner of the McCoy's contractor, the, the, the Hamptons novice effectively, uh, but very, very good. Like I say, Derek O'Connor came over, unbeaten over fences, as that was, it, there was a run at Plumpton before that, which he also won pretty comprehensively. Second in the Albert Bartley last year, so again, Cheltenham form, festival form to go off the back of. So, OK, Corral should take a lot of beating in here, considering it's got a little bit of uh, course form, it's got distance form now as well, and it's probably going to have one of the top riders that you could hope for in Derek O'Connor to be riding here. Bally Ward is another one, six to one, and this is the only entry that Bally Ward has at the moment. Uh, he was 11th length winner on the 27th of January over at Nace, beating Chris's Dream and Champagne Classic. Those two had an absolute humdinger at the weekend, those two alone, so that, that form appears to be pretty strong. Uh, Chris's Dream is a horse that likes soft ground, so if it does go that way, to be able to beat Chris's Dream like it did, again, should be quite good for Bally Ward in there. He was fourth in the Albert Bartlett. However, he was only two and a half lengths behind OK Corral. So it's got they've got a little bit of history as it is. But like I say, probably going to have to step up a little bit. But again, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, that one in there. I am going to tip up a pretty big outsider here. And this is just on some of the runs that I've seen this year. There's something I quite like about this horse. It's currently 20 to 1. So yeah, I'd definitely be having to go each way here. But this is Atlanta Ablaze. And Atlanta Ablaze was, um, he's had, Four, win four runs since November. We've had a third in listed company. Uh, won the Lady Godiva as well, um, beating an eight to 13 on favorite. So it doesn't even have to be favorite to win. So it's not gonna, that's not gonna be a disappointing factor at all, really. Uh, one at Wincanton, winning very easily. So 20 to one, an each way play, probably isn't gonna be the worst angling here. But for me, I know it's favoritism again, and only three of the last 12 favorites have won, but OK Corral, does look to be a horse that has a lot bigger future in front of him still and I'd expect him to go and win this race.